if you make whiskey, basically you've got three, three ingredients as well. So grain, water, uh, and yeast. Yeah. Those three are already enough to have a massive spectrum. If we go to the States, when we look at the grain, we've got sweet corn, we've got rye, we've got all these different uh, grains. Every grain has a different flavor. If it comes to oak, you can take the European oak or French oak, or you can take American oak, different flavors again. Depending on how old uh, the cask is, it has an impact on how much oak flavor will be put into the cask. Mm -hmm. Depending on uh, which temperatures were used to build this cask, will affect the flavor. Depending on the yeast, and that's where our favorite ball game is, yeah. how can you create flavor through microbiology? The water uh, is also important. Most people are able to manipulate uh, the water ionic concentration, the water chemistry, basically. Uh, in Norway, we can do it. In Scotland, we can't. And each one of these is an like, aspect itself where you can create flavor. 